Jasmine here. Today I am on spring break actually and I thought I would film a little get ready with me video. I redid my skincare and I actually put my hair in braids before I slept yesterday. So this is why they look kind of crimped. Today I'm going to be doing blue makeup to match my blue yellow color combo going on. And this is currently my favorite sweater. I love the texture so much. This is from Urban and I got it on sale. So let's just get started. I'm gonna pin my hair up. Wow, I'm so colorful today. I asked you guys on YouTube what I should talk about and a lot of you guys replied, but I think the most commonly asked topic was about like my life in art school. So I'll be talking about that. Ooh, it's kind of hot today. This is actually too warm. <laughs> so one question that was asked a lot was how college is different from high school. Well, first of all, you're an adult, so you have freedom and also you're living by yourself unless you're commuting from home. I feel like college included a lot less drama. I think in high school, somehow everyone knew something that had happened the previous day by the next day. And it was just a lot of like bullshit drama that I didn't really like. I also feel like people in high school are much more fake than college people. So it's kind of easy to make friends in high school because you have like fake friends and real friends. But then college, most of your friends are real and they stick to you. But I also feel like it's much harder to make friends in college because of that. Sometimes I feel like I don't really fit in the school and I only have like three real friends. Also in college, you don't have to be a little sheep and follow around what everyone does. I'm gonna powder my face a little since I'm heading out later. I don't wanna get all oily. I have maintained most of all my friends from high school. When I went back during spring break, I hung out with all of them. I have lost the feel like those people that I don't really talk to anymore. It's, it's whatever, honestly, cause some were toxic anyways. But those that I kept, I'm really happy to have them. But also like in college, obviously there's gonna be parties and stuff. So about college, it's a pretty big change and you'll get used to it though, but it's just so much more freedom. In high school, you have to be like, mom, can I not go to this class? Can I not go to that class? I think I mentioned in the past few videos that I want to change my major from illustration to painting. I'm still thinking about it, but my mom actually said and I know she's right that there's much more better job opportunities as an illustration major rather than a painting major. But in Pratt, illustration is part of communications design and most of it is computer-based work, I believe. I have to go to the grad shows to see what I'm gonna end up doing in the next four years. But to be honest, I'm not one for doing art on computers. I like digital art, but that's about as far as it goes. But, and I just really like to paint. I love to draw, I love to paint, I love to do everything more fine artsy, I guess. Or I could also minor in illustration, but honestly, I just want paint. I wasn't the best student in first semester. I was always missing class because I was either sick or because of my period cramps. Most art colleges, except a few I think, have this thing called foundation year where everyone basically does the same thing for their first year there, for freshman year. It's super boring because you're forced to do stuff that you might not be used to, but it also helps you improve your skills in other areas. I think it helps with art block because you're basically given an assignment you have to finish in a certain amount of time, which means you have to get something out. So you don't really have time to ponder and think about it. But for those that are trying to overcome art block, what I do is I just stop doing art for a bit because there's no point in trying to force myself to bust out something. Like at some point, I know I'm gonna get some inspiration from something then I can get over my art block. What I also recommend for people going to college is don't stay in your dorm hold up studying. You did not come to college to just stay in this building. You should go out and explore and do other stuff. Money wise, 
I know if you go to like a college in a big city, it's gonna be kind of hard to save money, but you should try to do it. I think you should try budget yourself to $100 a week, like go out once a week or something. And honestly, I don't do that. I really need to work on it, but it's spring break now and I wanna go out. I made a ColourPop palette when they had a sale on palettes and this is what I got. I've been into like green and blue eyeshadow lately. Another person wanted to know how I get the motivation to finish my assignments in college. I actually had a problem with this back in first semester, but I think I'm much better at it now. Um, this is gonna sound kind of bad, but art school is pretty competitive too because you want to be the best, right? So my motivation is that I'm gonna be the best in the class. And that's the only thing that keeps me going sometimes. Hearing praise is something we all enjoy. And if the teacher praises your art, then you're like, your ego goes up a little and you're like, wow. This eyeshadow is kind of creasy and I don't know if I like it. Not sure in what ways I've matured, but I do feel like I've matured a lot ever since coming to college. I can kind of see myself maturing through my vlogs just the vibe, you know? The college is a place for you to also learn and improve yourself as it is anywhere. Even if you fuck up at one point, you can still better yourself. I sound like I know everything I'm talking about. Since at one point I really hated doing art, it made me really worry about my future, but I think I'm okay with it now. It's like a love and hate relationship. And I also feel like in college, you have so much other stuff to do other than figuring out your classes and homework and such. And you just have to manage your time really, really wisely. I'm not gonna talk for eyeliner because I know if I do, I'm gonna mess up. I feel like going to art school is great and all because you're surrounded by so much creative people. I feel like the con to is that you're only surrounded by creative people that also do art. You can't really meet other people that are other majors, you know, like a general college in comparison with the art college. My friends that go to like the UC schools, they're able to meet people of like all kinds of majors. And I think that's really cool because the only people I meet here are like all art related. But it's also really interesting to see other people's perspective on creativity. Okay, when I do this, I just look like I have really bad dark eye circles. How my perspective of art has changed ever since art school. To me, it used to be a hobby, something fun that I would do to take my mind off, but now it's like my main thing, you know? So it's a bit stressful because it's also my future. Everyone keeps asking what I want to do when I graduate, but that's three years away and I don't even know what major I'm gonna be right now. I want to be like a freelance illustrator. I'm gonna darken this part up because I want to blend with my eyeliner more. Now I'm gonna be doing mascara. There's this one artist that really inspires me. Her name is Tina Yu, and she's also a Pratt alumni. She's a graphic design major, but all her works right now are all sculptural or paintings and she's a freelance artist and she shows every so often and I just find it super inspiring because I want to be like her someday. She made her work popular through social media. Actually, social media is really important for artists these days. Like I feel like it's one of the main ways for you to get popular and to actually make money if you're a freelancer because you need like a fan base. So I'm finally done with my eye makeup and I'm gonna move on to my face makeup. Five years ago, I was actually really set on being a pediatrician, like every Asian parent wants their child to be. That ended really quickly because I realized I cannot do anything STEM related forever. I want to make my face slimmer here. That's why I'm bronzing this part up a lot. College is not as fun as you think it is, but if you make it fun, it's fun. Okay, I cracked my favorite blush open, but I'm still gonna use it. And she works. 
I'm not doing a lot of blush today because I want the focus to be on my eyes. How I deal with stress is, to be honest, I value my health more. So if it's just a really bad day, I'm going to sleep in. And I get stressed really easily too. And the more I stress about being stressed, that just makes it worse, right? So I try not to think too much about it and focus on my health first. I'm trying to lessen up on the highlight because I feel like it kind of makes me look oily. I feel like I'm not the greatest person at advice, so I hope whatever I said helped in some way, shape, or form. I'm gonna add a fake mole. I chose this kind of orangey lipstick because I feel like blue and orange go pretty well together. I feel like my time management so far is pretty good. I have time to make videos, I have time to edit videos, I have time to do homework, I have time to go to class. So I feel like I'm doing pretty decently good. Gonna finish off my face with finishing spray and then fix my hair. I don't know what to tell. For those wondering where I'm going out with bright, bold blue makeup, I'm probably just gonna go to Soho and walk around and have a date with myself. So this is my finished makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that whatever I talked about helped you guys out and gave you guys some more insight about college and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!